Another auction day here. The John Deere's they got. John Deere's. It's like an old Chevy over there. The old Jeep. Oh, look at that. Original, I wouldn't think. <laughs> like this thing needs some work. A bobcat. October morning here. Boat motors. Johnson. Look at that. I got a bunch of them. There's an old Johnson there. Arma is this. Show me here this is. The heck they can't lower this is. Check that out. Whoa. Kind of cool looking. Cushman. Yeah. A board tractor. Snowmobile. This baby out. Whoa. Open. It actually opens. Look at the back of the switch. Trunk here. Oh, more tanks. Old 
chairs, metal chairs. Spray cans. Pump or something. Big guns. Oh, them. Um. Little radio. Pepsi. Style. What the heck them things are? Is it toys? Put them out. Oh, Budweiser lamps. Good year. Something. All right, that bridge here. Oh heck! Look at that. That's not. Yeah, that's the only thing I can. Shoot boxes. Crazy. There's a newer one. There's a, it's like a Guns and Roses, Sweet Shadow and Mine. Grand Prix 2. Here. Oh, that's 
go up down here. Computer. What in the world is that? Can see the sun's coming at you. Belt buckle there, bullshit. See the sun. Is that north western? North. Hello everyone, another auction day here, Saturday, seems like I get maybe one sale a week here, maybe one every two weeks, uh, they're starting to wind down, we're getting in the late October here, winter's coming in, so they'll probably be inside auctions, but if you haven't seen my channel before, I buy and sell, resell stuff, try to make a dollar, pay all these bills, just keep coming and coming, <laughs> but it's just... I like going to sales, collecting stuff, buying stuff I can use. But anyway, this sale here had a few good things for me. But uh, I ended up buying these mowers. I hadn't planned on it. But they were going 30 to $45 a piece. I figured, heck, you know, for the parts, I could strip them down, take the parts off them, and then sell them to scrap. But uh, there's still a lot of good stuff on it, like some covers, metal covers. O110 John Deere 110s. These tractors have been around. I've seen several numbers on them. They've been in a few sales, but this will probably be the, their last destination because they'll probably be scrapped after I get done stripping them. But you know they're pretty beat up. But for thirty and forty dollars a piece, I mean you can get some salvage some parts off them. That one there's even still got a battery in it. I'll end up taking these, taking anything I can off of them. I ended up loading two of these at a time in my truck. I got a full size Chevy. Instead of, I, it's quite a ways away. I think it was like 40 miles from me. So I loaded two at a time. I couldn't see going, you know, making four separate trips because I got four of them here. But anyway, I thought I did all right on these mowers. Older John Deere's, people are missing parts or something. Maybe make a dollar, maybe not. You never know. You know, here's a deck here came off one. Pretty nice looking deck. This has got the four, I guess the four-legged deer is supposed to be 
older. Anyway, these steering wheels look pretty good. I mean, I could pull them and sell them. I got these torch heads here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, five or six of them. Torch heads, there's the gauges. Older torch heads. I do some art projects, so I kind of, you know, use them for that. But I paid, I think, $17.50 for all the torch heads and the gauges there. So I thought I did okay on that. There's a pair of welding gloves there thrown in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven of them for $27.50. Well, you know, probably not a whole lot of money there. Kind of cool, though. Find them in the original wrap there. Next up, uh, got a couple paint guns. These are more or less worthless. Ain't worth a whole lot of money, but I use them for art projects too. A couple of them for. A... I got a flat with some. I got paid like two fifty for this. A flat of the uh, C clamps, and this one here is a Wilton. A little, you know, rusty, but Wilton C clamps bring a little bit of money. There's another one. A little rusty needs to be cleaned up. There's a big old Armstrong. I actually got gotten quite a few of these this year. Nice heavy duty C clamps for 250. I know three or four of them or whatever the heck I got. But uh, here's another little tire tool. Here's another neat old thing here. I used to use these all the time. I still do. That's your uh, lug wrench here. Your four way. This is Craftsman. You can just put that on the lug and spin them babies. This is built pretty good there. It's got a little rust on it. Porco, made by Wilton Schiller. Wilton Schiller Park, Illinois. Torco. This here is probably worth, you know, Maybe fifty dollars or something. I gave like I think fifteen for this. So it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but neat little vice there. Came in. my ship finally came in, but it didn't come in in one piece. I got the wheel off of it. So that's pretty cool. A little old I think that might go to a pontoon boat, I don't know, but my ship finally came in, but just I got the wheel, so I'm still waiting for the rest of it. Just want to take a minute and show you these trees. Old maple tree there, just full of color. We'll be on the ground here in a couple days. Just wanted to show them to you. This here's a crab tree. Got the crabs on it. A lot of color. It's a beautiful day out.